Hi, my kids. This is our best friend, Shamaya Joy. Today, I have a great book about an amazing person. His name is Dr. Martin Luther King. He was a dad. He was a civil rights leader. He even loved to read. Most importantly, he wasn't afraid to dream. And dream big. Lit Kids is about to get booktastic. Come on, let's go read about a legend. The title of this book is A Picture Book of Martin Luther King Jr. Written by David A. Adler. Illustrated by Robert Casilla. Martin Luther King Jr. was one of America's great leaders. He was a powerful speaker, and he spoke out against laws which kept black people out of many schools and jobs. He led protests and marches demanding fair laws for all people. Martin Luther King Jr. was born on January 15, 1929, in Atlanta, Georgia. Martin's father was a pastor. His mother had been a teacher. Martin had an older sister, really Christine, and a younger brother, Alfred Daniel. Young Martin liked to play baseball, football, and basketball. He liked to ride his bicycle and to sing. He often sang in his father's church. This is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. This is his brother and this is his sister. Young Martin played in his backyard with his friends. One day, he was told two of his friends would no longer play with him because they were white and he was black. Martin cried. He didn't understand why the color of his skin would matter to anyone. Martin's mother told him that many years ago, Black people were brought in chains to America and sold as slaves. She told him that long before Martin was born, slaves had been set free. There were still some people who did not treat black people fairly. In Atlanta, where Martin lived, and elsewhere in the United States, there were white-only signs. Black people were not allowed in some parts, pools, hotels, restaurants, and even schools. Blacks were kept out of many jobs. Martin learned to read at home before he was old enough to start school. All through his childhood, he read books about black leaders. Hmm, Martin could have been a lit kid. Martin was a good student. He finished high school two years early and was 15 when he entered Morehouse College in Atlanta. At college, Martin decided to become a minister. After Martin was graduated from Morehouse, he studied for a doctorate at Boston University. While he was there, he met Coretta Scott. She was studying music. 
they fell in love and married. In 1954, Martin Luther King Jr. began his first job as a pastor in Montgomery, Alabama. The next year, Rosa Parks, a black woman, was arrested in Montgomery. She had been sitting just behind the white-only section on a bus. When all the seats in that section were taken, the driver told her to get up so a white man could have her seat. Rosa Parks refused. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. led a protest. Blacks throughout the city refused to ride the buses. Dr. King said, there comes a time when people get tired of being kicked about. One night, while Dr. King was at a meeting, someone threw a bomb in his house. Martin's followers were angry. They wanted to fight. Martin told them to go home peacefully. We must love our white brothers, he said. We must meet hate with love. The bus protest lasted almost a year. When it ended, there was no more white only section on buses. Dr. King decided to move back to Atlanta in 1960. There, he continued to lead peaceful protest against white only rating rooms, lunch counters, and restrooms. He led many marches for freedom. In 1963, Dr. King led the biggest march of all, the March on Washington. More than 200,000 black and white people followed him. I have a dream that my four children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. The next year, in 1964, Dr. King was awarded one of the greatest honors. Any person can win the Nobel Peace Prize. The country was changing. New laws were passed. Blacks could go to the same schools as whites. They could go to the same stores, restaurants, and hotels. White-only signs were against the law. told his followers to protest peacefully. But there were some riots and 
some violence. Then, in April 1968, Dr. King went to Memphis, Tennessee. He planned to march so black and white garbage workers would get the same pay for the same work. On April 4th in Memphis, Dr. King stood outside his motel room. Another man, James Earl Ray, was hiding nearby. He pointed a rifle at Dr. King. He fired the gun. An hour later, Dr. King was dead. Martin Luther King Jr. dreamed of a world free of hate, prejudice, and violence. Carved on the stone which marks his grave are the words, I'm free at last. <laughs> We've got some difficult days ahead. But it really doesn't matter with me now. Because I've been to the mountains. Like anybody, I would like to live a long life, longevity has its place. I just want to do God's will. And He's allowed me to go up to the mountains. And I've looked over. I've seen the promised land. I'm not getting there with you, but I want you to know.